By the time that I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome at the age of 32, it had already caused failure in all aspects of my life. My marriage had failed. The publishing company that I had founded when I was 18 was collapsing. My health was dire. I had made just about every mistake that one could. I grew up in the black cloud surrounding Cleveland during the 70s and 80s. Informed by punk rock, I started a publishing company in 1996 and taught myself everything that I needed to know. But when I stumbled into a neurologically mixed marriage, things went downhill fast. When a friend told me about Asperger's in 2003, I made jokes about it. I certainly had obsessions. I was generally inflexible. I had emotional distance from everyone. I missed virtually every social cue offered to me. In many ways, I had established myself into a position of expertise and respectability. People tolerated my quirks and how downright difficult I could be because I had skills that they didn't possess. I didn't mean to insult them. I just wasn't wired to speak their language. Starting with diagnosis, my life suddenly started to make sense in the rearview mirror. Uh, the first speaker is Joe Beale. Uh, whose dedication to independent self-publishing has been incredible for the last 10 years. Under writing microcosm publishing, let's hear it for Joe Beal. The publishing company that I started in my closet is still independent and will be 20 years old in February. This book is my story. Scars, successes, failures, and learning to hold on to my superpowers while effectively socializing with neurotypicals, people who aren't on the autism spectrum. It's been quite a journey, and the least I can do is make it easier for the next person.